So I'm going to see you all here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to start with a simple question. Uh, please clap your hands together. If you've already had COVID, clap your hands together. Okay. Not bad. What have the rest of you frigid fucks been doing? <laughs> get out there. It's time to live a little. Get out there, lick something, touch something. I remember the good old days. I remember my first COVID test. I sat down and the nurse, the most caring person in the world, she said, now this might be a bit uncomfortable. And I was like, I'll be fine, don't worry. I put my head back, I stuck my tongue out. As that stick went down my throat, not only did I, not, not once, I kept gagging. I kept gagging, she put it down my throat and then took it. Both my eyes watered. This is how I knew it was bad because the nurse, the most caring person in the world, looked down at me and she just said, oh, darling, pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had to get a COVID test the next week, right? I travel for work. I was gonna have to get them all the time and I didn't want to be embarrassed like that again. So I went away and I started practicing. <laughs> and now I take a COVID test like a champion. A week later, I went back in, a male nurse this time, and I sat down. And he said, it might be a bit uncomfortable. I said, I'll be fine. <laughs> I sat back, looked him in the eye, stuck my tongue out as that stick went down my throat. Not only did I not gag, not only was there not one drop of moisture from either of my eyeballs, but I looked him in the eyes and I said this, harder. <laughs> <laughs> He said halfway through, sir, you know you don't need to tickle the underside of the stick with your other hand. <laughs> he said afterwards I was the first bloke that ever grabbed his hand, put it on the back of my head. <laughs> Told me I was the first bloke he's ever seen swallow a COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> COVID has brought us some fun, right? Uh, I, I've invented a few games. This game is called Sexy Supermarket. And here's how it works. When you go into the supermarket, it's your job to try and grab items and make them sound like sexy sentences. For example, I was with my mate and I grabbed a can of chickpeas and I put them here. I said, hey, you wanna see a chickpea on my face? <laughs> Just like dumb stuff like that, right? Just dumb stuff like that. And then we kept going, I grabbed a lettuce and I said, oi, let us see your titties. Just like dumb <laughs> stuff like that. I grabbed a cucumber and I said, you want a cucumber in my butt? Just dumb <laughs> stuff like that. But be careful who you play with, because I was with my housemate. He's not the smartest bloke in the world. I gave him those exams. Oh, you want to see a chickpea in my face? Oh, do you want to let us see the titty? Oh, oh, you want a cucumber in my butt? I gave him those exams when he goes, yeah, I get it. Yeah, like, fuck me in the supermarket. <laughs> I'm like, that is not how you play the game, bro. What do you mean? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Picks up a zucchini and goes, shove this at my ass. <laughs> Razzy, you do not understand how to play this game. And then he walks over, just grabs a chunk of brie, puts it down his pants, and there to him. I said, what's that? And he just goes, dick cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think that's gross, spare a thought for the next person, because he just put it out and went, there you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been lovely. It's nice to be back. Take care. Cheers.